The Big Bang is a bit of a rough topic to talk about, mostly because there's some debate on whether it actually took place or not. There is a lot of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory, but there are a few holes in it. Well, maybe not so much holes, but closer to small divots of missing information. Obviously, we weren't there. So we look at all of the evidence for the Big Bang, the redshift in galaxies, microwave background radiation, the mixture of elements, and looking at how the universe grew up. All of this evidence points very strongly towards the Big Bang Theory. On the other hand, there are some issues. First off, what caused the initial explosion? Nobody knows. It may sound crazy, but it was before time itself existed. It's very difficult for anyone to figure out what happened before time. Another issue is the lack of antimatter in the universe. For every particle of matter, there should be an antiparticle. And when these particles meet up, they annihilate each other. In the universe, we see a lot of matter. So for some reason that we don't fully understand, there must not have been as much antimatter, or these particles interacted in some weird way to create more matter than antimatter. Another divot in the Big Bang Theory involves the universe being homogeneous, yet we see that galaxies end up in clusters. With the current Big Bang model, it pretty much requires that the universe is homogeneous, and we see that the universe is pretty much homogeneous, but matter ends up clumped together more than expected. So there are a few issues with our current model, but that doesn't mean that we ignore all of the very strong evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. It just makes the most sense with our understanding of the universe. So how did the Big Bang end up creating everything that we know of? It all started with everything in the universe. Earth, the stars, dust, nebulas, hundreds of billions of galaxies, all in an area tinier than an atom. Then 13.7 billion years ago, bang! It wasn't really an explosion, but space and time was created at this point. Then the first second elementary particles form, and within a few minutes all the hydrogen and helium atoms form, then nothing for around 400 million years. This is when we first see electrically neutral atoms, and the first light ever known as the microwave background radiation. Then stars began to form. Most were huge and only lived just a few million years. Then around one billion years after the Big Bang, galaxies were merging together to form our Milky Way galaxy. It took 8.5 billion years for our solar system to form, and 9.1 billion for Earth to form. Humans didn't exist until 13.7 billion years after the Big Bang. And we only showed up 100,000 years ago, only a sliver of the lifetime of the universe. So let's recap. The Big Bang has a ton of evidence supporting it. Redshifting galaxies, almost all galaxies seem to be moving away from us exponentially faster. The microwave background radiation shows a specific point in time in which atoms became stable and released light. The mixture of elements we see today and when looking back in time at other faraway galaxies all line up perfectly with the theory. We have the ability to look back in time by looking at really far away objects. The light has taken billions of years to get here, so we can basically see what the early universe was like. Everything lines up with what we would expect it to look like if the Big Bang occurred. There is more evidence, but it is less important or much more complicated maths. There are still some divots in the theory, but hopefully with time we can fill those divots and have a full understanding of how we got here. Thanks so much for watching and have a super duper delicious day.